Hi, I'm Elliot Landy, and I'm introducing my new Kickstarter campaign to finance my second book of photographs of the band. The first one was published three years ago. This one is going to feature contact sheets. Therefore, I call it contacting the band. What inspired me to make this book, people have always been asking me to see more photographs and they want to know really what it was like to be there and what happened that day and so on and so forth. And contact sheets are like a documentary of how the shoot went, how, how the session went. So first you see that someone is standing there and then they're sitting down and then somebody else comes in the room. So it's really like a history of the particular day of the particular shoot that I was doing. And it shows all 36 pictures that were taken on a single roll of black and white film. And then we would look at these contact sheets with very small pictures and take a magnifying glass and look at the pictures large and mark them up with a crayon to decide which ones we thought were best. My first book, this one, The Band Photographs, was published three years ago and I had a very successful Kickstarter campaign for it five years ago. It's 12 by 12 inch pages and really nicely reproduced. They look like photographic prints to me. And so this is an example of one similar thing to the contact sheet book. But almost all of these pages are full page pictures. So the new book is going to be mostly contact sheets. And then here's some samples that I did up for this session. Here's the full contact sheet, and there's the picture I chose. And there'll probably be some discussion or people can write in or something like that about which one they like or they would have chosen, but you can see it pretty nicely. Here's another one, good example of why did I choose this particular image in front of Big Pink as opposed to all these other ones in here. Levon's throwing a football around and Richard's riding a bike. And this is all what's happening during the time I took the picture on that day. And the contact sheet is really a history of what went on. It's not only about my process as a visual selector, I'd say. I don't like to use the word artist, but as a person who selects nice visuals for people to see. And also what they were doing, what they thought should be done and what they didn't want to do and just decided to fool around. So here's one where we show a double page spread so we can fit 18 pictures on that double page and they're pretty large actually and then there'll be some spreads they'll be this size so this book of contact sheets contacting the band is going to be the same size 12 by 12 inches as my first book of band photographs and it's going to be at least 128 pages The thing about a contact sheet is you see the whole process of what was happening. It's, it's a little bit like having been there yourself. You can follow the, um, the action, so to speak. You can also see my choices, like why did I choose one picture to be the picture that's used and not another very similar one. Even now, I'm looking at this one picture of Garth and Rick, which was a complete outtake. I didn't even circle it at the time. You, and it's fabulous, I'm looking at it and I was there and I knew these guys and I saw them a lot and it's special to me. Now it's, uh, it's 50 years later. And just to see these two guys standing there like that is very touching. Rick has played a stand-up bass and Garth has, has a violin in his hand. At the time it was like, it's, it seemed normal and natural and so what? And now I see, well, these two geniuses of music, these two super nice human beings we're just fooling around in the backyard. So I guess there's a lot of interest in contact sheets as I just found myself. I'm really excited to see more of these photographs reproduced in such a high quality way. This not only brings them to life, but also enhances our enjoyment of the music. At least it can enhance our enjoyment of the music. Maybe even to the point where we'll be looking at these while listening to the music harking back to the way it was when these albums were played in our living rooms. 
and there was only the album covers to gaze at, and you wished that you could see more. Now you will. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>